How to induce ego death without the use of psychedelics. In the realm of self-discovery and spiritual exploration, the concept of ego death has captivated the minds of seekers for ages. The idea of shedding the confines of the ego, transcending the boundaries of self, and experiencing a profound sense of unity with the cosmos has often been associated with psychedelic substances. However, what if I let you know that the path to ego death can be traversed without psychedelics? Yes, you hold within you the power to embark on a transformative journey of self-realization, shedding the layers of illusion and unveiling the radiant essence of your being. So, join me as we delve into a world of ancient wisdom, introspection, and practices that can help you induce ego death, unlocking the boundless potential within, without the need for external substances. Get ready to explore the depths of your consciousness and discover the keys to unlocking ego dissolution in ways you never thought possible. This voyage of self-discovery transcends the mind's boundaries and opens the door to a profound and liberating transformation. If you're ready to explore the depths of your being and dissolve the barriers of the ego, here are a few natural techniques that can help without using psychedelics. Self-inquiry. It would help if you communed with your mind to know what you want and what you should weed out from your life. Engage in reflective practices like self-inquiry where you question the nature of your identity. Reflect on the core beliefs, experiences, flaws, imperfections, and those things that shape your ego. As you deeply introspect, ponder on these areas of your life and examine their validity. Think through those things you hold so firmly to. Are they worth it? Those things you pursue so vigorously, are they beneficial to you or all? Do you think your life is only about you or others? By challenging these narratives, you open the door to new perspectives and a broader sense of self, and those areas governed by your ego will start fading off. Heart-Centered Practices Cultivate the act of genuinely showing love, compassion, and gratitude in your daily life. It may not come easy, but you must practice selflessness if you want to kill your ego. Engage in acts of kindness, practice forgiveness, and develop a genuine connection with others. By shifting your focus from the self-centered ego to the expansive heart, you can dissolve the ego's boundaries, experience a more profound sense of unity with yourself, and fulfill the greater calling of the universe. Surrender and Letting Go when you realize that certain areas in your life are toxic and not beneficial to fulfilling your goal, you need to cultivate the willingness to surrender the control of the ego over you and let go of any attachments. This involves releasing the need to cling to a particular thinking pattern or doing things. Embrace uncertainty and trust in the natural flow of life, allowing the ego to dissolve in the face of acceptance. Meditation Regular meditation lets you observe the patterns and attachments of your mind that you have held firmly to. It also helps you lose control of the ego over you. Hence, you can be more in control over your thoughts. Also, meditation, mindfulness, and focused awareness can create space for a deeper understanding of your true nature. Focus on positive things, your values, goals, and aspirations, and create a beautiful environment that keeps you focused on selfless things rather than on yourself. These practices encourage a flow state where the ego's grip loosens and you become one with the body's rhythm and the universe. Remember, the journey towards ego death is highly personal and may unfold differently for each individual. It requires patience, self-reflection, and a commitment to inner exploration. Embrace these practices with an open mind and heart and you may discover a profound sense of freedom and connection that goes beyond the limitations of the ego.